What's up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine Thing Magazine, putting the geek and you got me. And today we're taking a look at this right here. This is the High Dock H1 Chat GPT powered audio dock with AI summary. We're gonna unbox it, we're gonna open it up, we're gonna check it out, and we're gonna see how this has AI inside here. And we're gonna do that next. What's up, my geeks? Jeffrey Powers from Geekazine, Think Magazine, Put in a Geek, and you got me. We've got a lot of different reviews over on geekazine.com. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment, bell notification. You know all that stuff. Let's get this uh, unboxed. What is this? This is the High Doc H1 ChatGPT Powered Audio Doc for transcription, for summary. So you could be using this for a conference call. You could be using this to be transcribing your memoirs. Maybe you're writing a book, maybe you're writing a blog, whatever, and you want speech to text. This is basically the dock with a 118 watt power. So it'll power your, your, your laptop, it'll power your phone, it'll power your, your tablet and hook up and of course give you the ability to put it up on monitors to 4K 60 frames per second monitors. You got 2.5 gigabits per second internet inside. You've got a couple USB ports. You got a USB uh, C 3.2 running at 10 gigabits per second, just so you know, and a lot more. So let's go ahead and open this up and let's see what's inside. Bidirectional noise cancellation through here, uh, transcription AI summary and phone call recording. So you can use it in your favorite uh, your favorite call software, what, Zoom, Teams, whatever. We're going to start with you got the uh, quick start guide. Next up, we have right here the unit and there it is. You know, it's it does remind me of those uh, those speaker phones that used to be on the desks of offices. We'll have this on the desk right here, just like that. We got a box right here. Cords, we'll start with this one. USB-C cord right here. The power, once again, this is 118 watts that's gonna pass through. So this is a big power block right here. All right, before we plug it in, let's take a look at this thing and see what we got. Like I said, this looks like something that you just put on your desk. You just put it right here. You know, just like in the 70s TV shows, movies, they'd always have that little speakerphone right there. Let's take a look at it. A standard speakerphone type setup here. We got the, the microphone, which I believe is right there. We got the speaker. So when you're on a Zoom call, when you're on a Teams call, you'll be able to hear what's going on, which is great. We got a dial here. This will bring up the volume, brings down the volume, and then a push button for different options. We'll talk about that later. We got a phone mute right here. We've got a uh, check mark right here. We got another phone option right here and then one more phone option so basically mute uh answer the phone probably hang up the phone this dial right here this is the this is this is the interesting dial because what this does is this is a variable noise cancellation option so if you if things are getting a little bit too reverby in the room and or the kids are playing you got noise on the other side what this is going to do you bring this up and all of a sudden that's going to change the echo cancellation from there and you bring it down that's going to change it the other way so that's that's built in on this unit and that's going to help you for when you're doing any type of transcription that it's going to focus on your voice so it can do the transcription properly on the back that's where all the magic happens as you can see we've got our power in we've also got a usb which i believe this is usb c power in uh, we've got two HDMI ports, so you can plug in two 4K monitors, 60 frames per second. We've got one USB-C 3.2 at 10 gigabits per second, followed by two USB-A ports. This one's at 10 gigabits per second. This one's at 5 gigabits per second. And then a 2.5 gigabits per second Ethernet. If you're not running 2.5 gigabits per second Ethernet, that's perfectly fine. You can plug it right into your network and it'll work. But if you do get a new router with 2.5 gigabit per second Ethernet, this will future proof that for you. On the side here, we have Bluetooth. This is uh, where you're going to pair because there is an app that you'll be able to get from uh, HiDoc that will allow you to do your transcription. We have a 10 gigabit USB C. This this is also a 15 watt charger if you're going to be charging your iPhone or your Samsung phone. This is where you go. We have both the SD card and the mini SD card slot. Uh, so it's perfect for uh, transferring all those files from your camera over. 
On the bottom, looks like we have just a basic vent right there. And then uh, that is pretty much it for this unit. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to plug it in and we're gonna test it out. All right, so we had some small little problems. Uh, there was a firmware update that needed to be done on this, uh, but we I worked with their, their support and we got the firmware on here and now it's working perfectly. So let's go ahead and show you. We got uh, everything set up, everything installed. Bluetooth, keep in mind, if you do the Bluetooth, don't have it on the same machine that you're USB plugging it into. Now we can move on to the next part and that's basically doing the transcription and notes. So in order to do that, all you have to do is hold this button down right here, which is just basically a check mark button. We'll hold down this button and then what's gonna happen is this thing is gonna turn blue. Now we can start transcribing. So as I'm talking, that is transcribing here. And if I wanna change to a different chapter, all I have to do is push this dial down and that's going to tell me that it's going to the next chapter. If I am in a noisy environment, what I do is I will turn this dial up and turn this down. And what that does is, especially if you're on any type of conference call, this will echo cancels out. I move this dial around, you're not going to hear anything. But if things are not working, you can change this. Now, We've got this set up and I'm doing a recording. What that's doing is that's setting the recording into uh, storage in the in the unit. You can also plug in other storage because it is a dock. You can plug in a SSD or a, uh, an SD card into this guy. And then of course, when you're done with your transcript, all you have to do is hold down the check mark button and that blue light turns off. Now we have a file. Let's go ahead and take it over here because now I know that the file has been recorded. It's time to go over to the file itself, which we see a drive on the computer. I'll open that up. I've done a few recordings and if you open it up, it'll just open up into an audio file. And of course, you'll hear the voice. So in order to bring it over here, all you have to do is hold and drag. And then what it's going to do, it's uploading. Boom. Now there's two parts to this. The first part is the transcription itself. So we can turn this down. As you can see, it, it's all time code transcribed, which is great. But if we go over here to summary, it's thinking for a second here. What it's going to do is it's going to give you an idea as to what just happened. So key information. The device has a dial for switching between chapters. The dial can be used to adjust the speaker uh, voice and cancel out background noise, so on and so forth. So we've got, if we've got a meeting, we can have a full outline, we can have full action items and all our information right from here, which is awesome. The other part of it is transcribing an online meeting. And that's where this is gonna really excel from here. So basically what I did was I got on to a, uh, on a call with, uh, with a couple friends, uh, Ray and James, and they basically talked back and forth. We had some fun with the uh, recording. It recorded on here. One thing to note is on this button right here, every time that you press that button, it, it's noticeable because it's actually attached to this whole thing. Uh, so we got the recording here. Let's go ahead and move this over and we'll put this in to transcribe. This is a little bit longer one. So this is three people talking, myself, James, and Ray. And uh, we went back and forth and talked about what everybody was up to. All right, so as you can see, fairly straightforward. Uh, everything looks good. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. I, I asked about Zoomtopia uh, and they, they got that for in AI. So now it moved over to summary. We got some key information on here. Four bullet points. A summary in this meeting, the participants discussed their recent activities and technical issues related to audio equipment. Uh, we got the outline, introduction, uh, Ray's coaching, James' efforts to fix audio. He had a microphone issue. Uh, discussion and functionality of the button, which is what we talked about. And then the media uh, test and co confirmation of the transcription item, and then the meeting conclusion. Uh, we got some action items down here where Ray's going to continue coaching people. James is going to monitor the sizzle noise in these audio setup. And I'm going to investigate the functionality of the button indicating a new speaker or topic. So there you go. 
That is the transcription. That is this unit, and it's working fairly well. Uh, once again, this is a high doc H1, a couple pros and cons. The slider back and forth is great. I can hear in the transcription, I can hear everybody's voice, which is also great. Pressing the buttons, especially when you're pressing the button to change topics or anything like that, gets into the recording that gets into the speaker. They hear it as well. So trying to stay as hands-free as possible. As for the dock, it works just like a regular dock, which is great. Uh, I can put in SD cards, Ethernet in here. So if I had a laptop that didn't have an Ethernet port, this could actually uh, hold that port. And then of course, we also have the HDMI. So we can plug it right into a monitor. So this would then prominently set in front of me so I could take notes, so I could have conversations so I could have do what I need to do and move on with life. So I'm going to play with this a lot more as we go. I really like how this is set up and it's so low profile. I can have it on my desk and it's not going to be very messy. There are two cables coming out of it, power cable and then the USB-C cable. But in certain machines, I found that you don't need to have that power cable because the USB-C will power it for you. That is the High Doc H1. What'd you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, that bell notification so you know when the next video comes out. Until next time, my name is Jeffrey Powers. You guys geek out and transcribe on.